Hey YouTube, Alan here. I'm uh, here in Lewis and Clark State Park in Western Iowa. It's near Onawa, uh, Iowa. And I'm here with our standard schnauzer, Grady. He's the most behaved one out of the bunch, so I like taking him. And as you can see, it's uh, Thursday, so there's not a lot of traffic yet here in the park. I just set up my awning on the Jeep. I actually have the uh, fridge plugged into the electric since I have electric, so I don't need to go over the uh, off of the battery. A little chair and all this here is pretty much the site that I'm on. But what I want to talk about actually is uh, do a little, a quick walk around of the Ostent 3, which I set up last night. And I was going to make a video, but it was so mosquito-y and it started getting dark that I just, uh, I just couldn't do it. So I'll probably do a video with the guying and everything together. It took me about 18, 20 minutes total time. Uh, was about was definitely less than 30 seconds this time to set up the uh, tent originally, but then the pegging. So I put pegs down, as you can see, right there is a peg. And then I put the guys on. There we go. So, and I did set the tent up on purpose in the sun because I wanted to see what it does. When it gets hot i have all the uh, windows open right now so as you can see let's start at the front here so the awning is out there we go i have that guide down as well and then i use this one here to let the water drain as you can tell it worked it's a little water pooling up there but other than that it's pretty much nice and dry now and then to two posts and I can actually stand under the awning so of course not here in the middle because I tied it down but this is what it looks like on the inside so there is uh, there's my bed the back is slightly open I didn't use the third guy in the middle because I'm going to close that again tonight before I, when I go to bed because it's supposed to rain again. It did rain pretty good this morning. We had a thunderstorm. So uh, this is what it looks like from the side. And uh, I'm happy to report that during the thunderstorm it was a little windy too and I was perfectly fine in the tent. So no nothing bad happening this is what it looks like from the back with the flap over of course i can go here and now you see into the tent so front door and both windows are open and everything is guided down here as well so typically i would probably have set up the tent um, over there between the trees because there's more there's shade there but uh, I decided for this test I was just going to set it up here I might move it it doesn't seem to be that bad to re guy and stuff so I might move it over there and just face it onto the side next to the Jeep looks like it's nice and even here as well as you can tell when you're looking here and uh, this area here does have uh, shade pretty much all day so might be what I'm gonna do if it's too much if it gets too hot in there with the Sun hitting it but so far I mean I was just in there and it's not that hot yet at least so but yeah first impressions the first night of sleeping in the tent very comfortable, lots of room. Was able to stand up to get dressed this morning. Um, 
had the vents open here all night and then I had one of the windows just ever so slightly cracked open. There you see and of course we have crap here. Uh, mosquitoes, I'm telling you, those mosquitoes were bad last night. So that's why I didn't so I didn't bother to film because it was just too much. So there we go. That's the Oz tent. After one night of sleeping in it, I'm still quite impressed with it. Very comfortable, very sturdy. No problem with the rain. And no problem with the wind, even in a thunderstorm. So definitely something that can be recommended, I think. I'll report back after the weekend because there's no, still Thursday, Friday, Saturday night that I'm going to sleep in it and they're predicting some more rain and thunderstorms tonight and then a windy day tomorrow. So we'll see how it stands up to all that.